most of human spaceflight history, only professional astronauts employed and educated by governments around the world, as well as seven brave travelers who spent millions each to spend a few days on the International Space Station in the early 2000s, were fortunate enough to reach the STARS ISS. However, a new era of space exploration is just beginning as private businesses like Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin create spacecraft that can transport paying passengers beyond the Earth's surface. In fact, the space tourism sector will probably get underway in the next few years. So in this video, we are going to discuss five things you should know before traveling to space. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss any updates. So, let's get started. Number 1. Make sure you're physically and mentally fit. In my opinion, everyone ought to treat this like their Super Bowl or Olympics. Although you don't have to be an Olympic or Super Bowl winner to travel in space, it helps to be in shape because this is a tremendously significant life experience, according to Dr. Parazinski. After all, when you're in space, your body will be exposed to a wide variety of novel feelings. However, it's not only about physical health, but mental fitness is also important. According to Dr. Parazinski, physical health also improves brain sharpness. The event will stick with you more and have a greater impression on you if you can fully immerse yourself in it. Number 2. Come up with a game plan for your few minutes in space. You will only experience weightlessness briefly on suborbital flights, so be sure you have a specific strategy for how you want to spend your time up there. Decide if you want to bring a souvenir for a fun staff shot such as a family portrait or a college pennant. There is a long tradition of this. Former astronauts and U.S. Naval Academy graduates Wally Stura and Tom Stafford famously displayed a beat army sign in the window of their Gemini VI spacecraft. Make a decision in advance whether you want to try any dumb astronaut tricks, such as flips or spins, according to spaceflight veterans. The most crucial thing is to schedule time to gaze out the window. Number 3. Don't worry about taking your own photos. Dr. Chiao says she is unsure if she would advise taking photos. First of all, since it takes some experience to get used to zero-g, you won't be very good at it. Taking pictures is a waste of time. Enjoy the sense of being weightless by collecting your memories and gazing out those windows. Plus, considering the cost of these space flights, we're rather confident that your operator will provide you pictures and films of your adventure anyhow. Number 4. Be prepared for some bumps and bruises. You won't spend a lot of time in space during a suborbital flight, so you won't really need to worry about getting used to zero-g. However, some private spaceflight businesses want to place their customers in orbit for extended periods of time. No matter how hard you train for the experience, you will undoubtedly knock your head more than once if you spend a few days or maybe a few weeks in space. Dr. Parasinski quips, It's extremely funny seeing newbie astronauts the first day or two up on a mission. They were known as the bull in a china shop. They push all hard, breaking their knee or cracking their head. Number 5. Coming back from space. Although rockets are the only means of travel into space, there are two means of return. Winged craft, such as the Space Shuttle or Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2, or capsules, such as Apollo Soyuz and Blue Origin's New Shepard. Winged vehicles land like an airplane on a runway, whereas capsules descend beneath parachutes onto land or water. The feelings are very different. While both encounter a variety of G-forces during re-entry, capsules suffer some tougher terrain, especially near the conclusion. You'll then receive a good bump whether you strike the earth or the water. Of course, there are shock-absorbing features that minimize the impact. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative and amazing videos. Thank you for watching.